Okay, we're just gonna take a look at a weighted rounded back squat mobility drill. Okay, so I'm using roughly a 12 kilo kettlebell here. I recommend you obviously start quite light and start to build your way up. Um, it's a weighted stretch. So standing on the box, I'm gonna come down into my squat. I'm gonna let the spine round. I'm gonna let the weight start to pull me down deeper into that squat. Now I don't wanna sit my butt back and down. I actually wanna to try to take the weight more to the balls of my feet. I wanna have active glutes, so I'm really trying to pull the knees as wide as I can and make as much room for my torso to fit between my legs. I'm trying to think about taking my chest and my head towards the floor, and I'm just gonna use that weight and try to relax and let it sort of stretch out all the posterior chain. I'm also gonna feel the stretch deep in the adductors as long as I'm pushing the knees out here, okay? You may feel a little bit in your calves, just depending on where you're tightest in the bottom of that squat, yeah? So we're gonna start to hang out there, relax, breathe, allow the weight to pull you deeper and deeper into the squat. At the moment I'm just on this box, but as we get better, I can start to create increase the height of the box, allowing the kettlebell to go down further and further. So it's a good little measure. Once I get this kettlebell to touch the floor here, I know that mobility has improved and those muscles have started to lengthen. And then I can start to increase the height a little bit more and then retest and retest and see that I'm making improvements in my bottom of my squat position. Typically I hold this around about two minutes, okay? And then after you've done this, you can just take your time getting out of it. We'll have a walk around, do a few squats, and you really will notice the difference in terms of the hip mobility and, and improving the squat position.